professional self. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Adam Carswell, and today I'm at Remax with my counterparts Janice Spearbeck and oh, I'm trying to point to him, <laughs> Andre Gutierrez. And we want to talk to you about talk to you about an interesting topic today when it comes to purchasing a home, and that's making it sure that your closing date and move-in date are separate to make the process more stress-free. So both Andre and Janice have been through this experience many times and they have some really cool stories here that they want to share with you. And uh, who knows, maybe they're gonna go back and forth and disagree on a few things, but that's the point of the video is to bring new perspectives to everyone's mind. So without further ado, here comes the live action. We were just talking like our goal at Remax and at TVRG Homes is to make this buying process as stress-free as possible. And something that I've seen lately add a lot of stress to people is having your moving truck and everything ready to move in the day you sign. So if you're signing at nine o'clock in your mind, I always tell my buyers to wait and not plan to move in. If you sign at nine, don't plan to move in at 1030. It, it creates a lot of pressure. I mean, it's almost like an instant pot, like you're building it up. And then if something happens, like you just don't want that, you don't want that stress on yourself. Yeah, I agree. Um, you know, it's a lot of people think that once the closing happens, that's the end. And if you truly have a building for clients for life mentality, that's that's what you should aim for. We're, we're more of a slow cooker versus an Instapot. And we want to make sure our clients taken care of. Truly building clients for life. I always try to tell my clients, nothing's final to the keys exchange. So there are some instances where I would feel comfortable with my client moving in right after signing, but not in most cases. If the home is vacant, all the repairs are agreed on, done a week before, and me and my clients have walked through the home multiple times, even up until the day of closing to make sure that a tree didn't fall on the house or a pipe didn't burst, then I may be okay with it. But sometimes repairs aren't done till the very last minute. And then you're scrambling at the last minute, you've got moving trucks outside, you've already given notice to your apartment or to yep. your condo, and you've got to get out and have that place clean to have somebody else in there, and then it's just a stressful situation. So you should always buffer in a little bit of extra time um, to make sure that you know what you're getting, and if you're not okay with what you're getting, that you've got a plan B that your realtor should have in place to make sure that everything that the seller has agreed to is going to be met after closing. Because once you sign on that closing day, and once the seller signs, that's it. You may be able to hold some money aside, but you can't return the house if they don't do what they need to do. So you need to make sure you're protected, you have the right real estate attorneys in place, and really having your realtor being there for you way after the closing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I would just say that, especially guys, it is so rainy. I, I don't remember the last time I saw the sun, right? It has rained so much this year. Like trees are falling, yards are flooding. It is so important. Moving is stressful enough. Like no one likes to put their stuff in boxes and haul it from one place to another. Just talk with your people. It's important to have good people on your side. Everything Andre's saying, yeah, I totally agree. I mean, stuff happens and you know, there's no reason to make another wound when there doesn't have to be one. Like slow and steady, the tortoise always wins the race, not the hare, not the person that's trying to sprint in. Really the key is just have a plan B. Um, make sure that you're doing multiple walkthroughs. Uh, a mentality in the real estate industry is, oh, we'll do our walkthrough and then we'll go to closing. I, I never really understood that. Since I've got in the business, I've, I've heard that and I've never understood that because what if on the day of the walkthrough, nothing's been done? So number one is agent communication. Having a team that can have multiple people communicating with the other side and then doing multiple walkthroughs. So a week before, you find that seven out of 12 things aren't done. That's not as scary as finding that out right before you're going to sign when you've already wired a substantial down payment in to buy the home. And then making sure that the seller is completing what they're obligated. I can't stress that enough. And people say, oh, well, hey, you know what? We're not, we're just gonna go ahead and, and let that ride. And then that's a bad feeling. And if, if you truly have an agent who's going to work by referral and hope to get a review from you, then the goal should be a positive experience. You should, it's a privilege to serve our clients. You should be able to be a raving fan or find another agent. 
until until you're not happy, until you are happy with the service, find another agent. They show like, okay, this person's gonna go to bat for me. They know what they're doing. They're full time. Um, you know, don't, don't let the value proposition be that, oh, they're gonna give me back a thousand dollars. Yeah, you could get back a thousand dollars and then risk twelve thousand dollars, and that's you know, your eleven thousand in the hole. I mean, yeah, reiterate everything. If you want to talk to an agent, call us. We will go as fast or slow as you like. Like, we would be happy to help. And just this process, it's emotional, but it doesn't have to be super stressful. Not if you have the right agent, not if you're talking to them, not if you're educating yourself about the process. It's your biggest purchase. It's super exciting. We're excited to help. Give us a call. Buying a home is like flying a plane. You have a good pilot, a good co-pilot. We'll get you there. Maybe a little <laughs> bit of turbulence. Well, we'll get you wherever you tell us to go. Give the Virginia Realty Group TVRG Homes a call.